Hi, welcome to Samsung's video how-to guides. My name's Chris and I'm going to show you how to record using your Samsung DVD recorder. Over the years, Samsung has made many DVD recorders. All of them work the same way, but there are some differences in the formats of recordable discs they accept. So if you're having trouble getting a recorder to accept a disc, check your owner's manual for the formats it accepts and make sure your disc is in an acceptable format. Now let's go over the different formats available to you. Again, Samsung DVD recorders will accept some or all of these formats. The most common format is the minus R or minus RW format. R means you can only record onto a disc once and RW means that you can erase the disc and start over. Note that you cannot erase part of an RW disc. It's all or nothing. The next format is the plus R and plus RW format. These discs have a faster writing speed and have more editing options than their minus R or minus RW counterparts and are usually used for data storage. The disadvantages to using plus format discs are they are not as universally compatible with other players and they are more expensive than minus R or minus RW. The last type of disc is RAM. These discs are easily the most expensive and the least universally compatible with other players but they do have the most editing options and they are recorded at the highest quality. RAM discs can only be played in players that support the RAM format, so if you plan on using your recordings in other players, make sure they support the format discs you are recording on. Now that we have a basic understanding of what each format does, let's get started recording. Turn the recorder and the TV to the proper input. I recommend turning the DVD recorder to the proper input first. To switch between inputs, press input or input select on your DVD recorder remote. If you connected your cables to the input on the back of the recorder, you want to select AV1, and if you connected your cables to the front, select AV2. Now we're going to do the same thing with our TV remote. Samsung TV remotes have a source button that switches between inputs, but your button may be labeled as TV video, input, game, or something else entirely. Consult your TV's user guide if you don't know how to switch inputs. Okay, now we have our disk format selected, we have our devices connected, and we have them turned to the proper inputs. Now we can start recording. Place the recordable disk in the DVD recorder with the label side up, and then close the tray. Depending on the disk format you're using, you may be asked to initialize the disk. If you are, press enter on yes. Once the disk is initialized, you can use it in the recorder like it was a VHS tape. If you have a cable or satellite box, turn the box to the channel you want to record and then press record on the DVD recorder. Whatever you see on your TV is being recorded to the disc. Recording from another DVD player or VCR is no different. Place the tape or DVD in the player, cue it up to the point you want to start recording from, then press play on the VCR and record on the DVD recorder. Press stop on the DVD recorder when you're done recording. A message saying, updating disk, please wait, appears on your TV screen. When the message disappears, the recording is complete. You can only play the disk in this player at this point. You can also still record to the disk if there's still space left. If you want to play this DVD in any other DVD player, you must finalize the disk first. Please note that once you finalize a plus or minus R disk, you cannot record on that disk again. You can unfinalize a plus or minus RW disk, but not an R disk. So make sure that you're done recording on your R disks before finalizing. Okay, place that disk in the player if you took it out, and then press menu on the DVD recorder remote after the disk has been loaded. Press the down arrow to highlight disk settings, or disk menu depending on your model, and then press enter. Press the down arrow to highlight Disk Finalize, and then press Enter. A dialog box appears asking if you are sure you want to finalize. Press Enter on Yes, and let it go. This may take a little while, depending on how full the disk is. When the disk is finalized, the tray opens. Remove the disk and label it, if you haven't already. Now you should be able to play your disk in any different player. The reason I say should is some players cannot read recordable disks. So unfortunately, Samsung cannot guarantee that your discs will play in other DVD players. And that's it. You're ready to start a new disc. I hope you learned something by watching this video. For Samsung, I'm Chris. Thank you.